There is magic out there. People always tell me that the reason they loved Emmett's show was because they wanted to be part of our own perfect little family. You get that? Yes, we got it. <laughs> we'll see you next week, I hope. Your father, he's not dead. They found his beacon yesterday after six months. I can find the ship. Here, 55 kilometers west. There's nothing there, Lena. It's not on the map. It doesn't exist. A boat doesn't just disappear. Can we go there? Tell the crew. We found the beacon. We're close. from inside. Well, it's shut from all the way around. Why would somebody do that? Yeah. Someone welded the door shut. Someone survived. There is magic out there. So let's go see it. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? I'm I'm very I'm very happy because the river's on tonight, which is like my new favorite show. Oh, that's all he talks about. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I love the show too. Uh, how uh, first of all, first question: How awesome was it filming that show? Because it looked like you got to be in some really cool locations. It was really awesome. <laughs> it was really really awesome. I mean, we we shot the pilot in Puerto Rico and the series in Hawaii. Oh, I mean, lucky. <laughs> so you're on like a vacation doing your cool job. Oh, what a hard job you have. I know. I know. But let me just say, I mean, not to, it is definitely a high class problem, but the, the show itself, of course, is in the jungle and in the muck and in the river and in acting all these sort of horrible, terrifying sequences. But at the end of our work day, it was amazing. It was jet ski heaven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, I got it. Like, here, here's what I'm confused about with the show. And maybe you can help me. Maybe you can't. Okay. Um, now, is the show like a mini series, or is this something that's going to have another season? Because it looks like, I mean, like the ending is pretty imminent. You know what I mean? Where it's kind of final. Um, well, uh, the, the show is picked up for a sort of mini season, which is to say um, our boss over at ABC, Paul Lee, um, has ordered quite a few shows this year with just 13, 8 to 13 episodes. So it's a complete season of eight. That being said, the the closer we get to the eighth episode, the more mysterious I think the characters become. And there's definitely a gateway for a second season. That's everybody's hope. Um, but if we were to only be eight, which I hope not, um, it will not leave you hanging out to dry. Well, okay. it's the last the last episode, it, it looks like things are really going to start picking up on what happened to your, your husband in the show. Um, That's correct. So it looks like it's really starting to, to really pick up, especially uh, with the, the new guy that you got to saved last episode. The new guy. You mean Scott, right? Yes. Um, yes. Um, yeah, he's along for the ride for a while. We, we meet some other new guys tonight. Um, we move ever closer to finding Bruce Greenwood's character, Emmett. Um, and let me just say, though, that nothing and nobody is as they seem to be. How about that? Really? Oh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's it's a real big cliffhanger show. It's not like one where you're like, oh, I, I know what's going to happen. Like this, because usually I try to predict stuff. Right. I can't predict anything with this show at all. Nothing. That's good. That's good. I mean, I think the design of the show is quite specifically that you could watch an episode and get the pants scared off you, and, and it, that could be standalone in and of itself. But the better way to watch it is 
to, I think, to follow these characters through this journey because you get more and more information and more and more secrets um, as it goes along. Oh, got to love the secrets. So I've got to ask. This is the question. If I don't ask yeah. this, I think I'll, I'll be shunned. What is it? Have you got to meet Steven Spielberg? <laughs> uh, she loves Steven oh Spielberg. God. I'm so sorry. Do you like, have a crush on Steven Spielberg? No, it's more just like he's like a god in my eyes. Uh huh. So just, um, I know he's an executive producer. Does he come around? Do you, do you guys actually get to work with him? Well, I can tell you that um, a thousand years ago, when I first came to LA, because I am a thousand and twenty, um, <laughs> I met him as a very young actress. But I have not met him on this. That being said, he is apparently always watching. He's like the Wizard of Oz, which is to say, the we great hear Marvel that. Oz. See, listen to. <laughs> Listen to her. She Steven. is so. It is so creepy. Let me tell you how creepy this it is. It is not creepy. He, he is the screensaver on her computer. He gave. She gave us Valentine's this year. On your computer? Yes, and yeah. she gave us Valentine's this year with pictures of Steven Spielberg. I'm not kidding you. And her Facebook, literally, all her background pictures are of Steven. Yep. Steven and I are going to work together. So <laughs> Leslie, we'll probably get to work together. I'm well, sure. Here's what I know. <laughs> He's he's very hardworking, which is to say he makes his big, fantastic movies, and he's watching our dailies, and we get specific script notes from Mr. Spielberg, oh. um, and uh, apparently, no matter where he is, uh, he's watching us. He knows which what you're doing. A good feeling, yeah. Uh huh. Which is definitely kind of a, a great, like, little aura to have over, based oh. on the based the idea of the show, then and your boss is kind of like yeah. sneaking in the corners watching you. It just fits perfectly. I don't find it actually um, creepy. I find it uh, reassuring. Yes, That's there you it. go. Well, uh, I can't wait for the episode tonight. Is there any little tidbits that you can... Little cliff notes? Little, little, little uh, something you well, can give I us? I can tell you that we're meeting people tonight that we haven't met before, characters nice. we haven't met before. I can tell you that it's Eloise Mumford's episode. She plays Lena Landry, and she kills it. Um, and uh, I can tell you that we move ever closer to finding... Bruce, and once more, nothing is as it seems. Fabulous. I can't <laughs> wait. Tonight, Thank 9 you. o'clock, ABC. If you have not started to watch The River, you need to catch up on it on On Demand and watch it tonight for sure. Check out Leslie Hope. Thank you so much Thanks, for talking Leslie. to us today. Thanks, guys. I'll tell Stephen you said hi. Oh, please do. <laughs> please do. <laughs> All right. Thanks. thanks have Leslie. a good one. Okay, bye. Bye. You're listening to The Morning House Party <laughs> on K-Duck.